Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Upgrade. Today, we are going to walk you through the process of installing Java on Windows 10 computer. Whether you are just starting out or need a refresher, we have got you covered. I will walk you through the steps to download and install Eclipse on your Windows 10 desktop or laptop and by the end, you will be all set to write and run your own Java programs. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update. So what is Code Editor and IDE? As a beginner, when you start coding in Java or any other programming language, you will need a place to write your code. Think of it like this. When you write a story, you use a word processor like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, right? Similarly, when you write a code, you need a tool that's designed to help you out. That's where Code Editors and IDEs, that is Integrated Development Environment, comes in. A code editor is a simple tool where you can write and edit your code. Think of it as a specialized text editor like Notepad, but with extra features that help you write code more efficiently. Some of the common examples of code editors and IDEs are IntelliJ for professional Java work, Eclipse for customization, VS Code for lightweight versatility, and Sublime Text for speed and simplicity in coding. So now that we have understood about code editors and IDEs, let's have a look at how to install it on Windows. In this video session, we will download and install Eclipse on our system to run Java programs. So without further ado, let's jump in. So this is our browser. First, we need to download the Eclipse installer. So now we will head over to official Eclipse website by typing Eclipse IDE download or we can simply type Eclipse into our browser search bar. All right, so to keep things simple, we'll simply type Eclipse. All right, so this is the first link. This is the official website of Eclipse. We'll click on this and the official website opens. Now here we can see download option. We'll simply click on this download option and this will navigate to this page. Now here it is visible. Install your favorite desktop ID packages. We'll click on download. And here we can see it includes JRE, so we don't need to separately download all these things, JRE and all. So we'll simply click on download. Now we'll be selecting the place where we want to download it. So yeah, it is getting downloaded as we can see. So as you can see, it is downloaded. We'll click on this. So the installer is opening. Let's wait. All right, so the installer is open. Now we can see different options over here. So as a beginner and we are doing the Java development, so we will be selecting this first option, Eclipse IDE for Java developers. But if somebody wants to do all this programming in C, C++, he or she might select this option. And there are various options like PHP developers and whatnot. So it's up to you what you want to select as we are doing Java programming. So we'll be selecting the first option. So we'll click on this. And here we'll have to select the model, the latest we will select. So JRE 22.0.2. So by default, it is that only. So we'll be selecting this. And if you want to create a menu starting, menu entry and create a desktop shortcut, you can select or unselect this one. It's up to you. I'll be selecting both of these. Now we'll simply click on install. Except now. Now it is installing. Let's wait. It might take some time, but you have to be patient with it. So yeah. Let's wait. So yeah, as it is visible on the screen, the installation is completed. Now, all we have to do is to click on launch. It is opening, let's wait. All right, so now we have to select the directory. So we'll click on browse. If you want to change what is already there, what is by default, I don't really want to change it. So I'll simply click on launch. As you can see on the screen, the Eclipse is open now. What we'll have to do is to we'll go to files. Just do that. Yeah. Now we'll go to files and we'll click on new. And then we'll go to Java project. We'll click on Java project. And as we can see, here we'll have to write the project name. For example, let's say we'll write example tutorials. All right. So this is the location where it is getting saved. Use default location. If you want to change, you can unselect it and do as per your choice. So we don't want to change it. So we'll keep it like that only. Now, as we can see, uh, this is the model. We have selected Java SE 2022. 
so i'll not change it i'll keep it this only and yeah pretty much it you don't have to worry about anything else over here we'll simply click on finish now we'll cross this welcome screen so as you can see this is eclipse workspace now what you'll have to do is you'll go to the source by clicking over here the source will come we'll go to source and right click on it here you'll go to new over here you can see java class so we'll select java class so it will create a java class for that we'll be adding the package name and the class name basically so let's keep the class name as study let's say study itself and package name is tutorial all right now we'll click on so basically these are the modifiers public package abstract so you don't need to worry about that we'll be covering so now we'll click on finish so as you can see this is our eclipse so here we can easily code we don't need to worry about any package or something so everything is there so let's just write a simple program over here so first of all as we can see this is public class study so this is a class that we have created we have to now create a main function so for that public static main. now string arguments inside the brackets we'll do system dot out we're gonna print something print ln now let's say we'll write hello upgrade all right so keep in mind always do this uh, semicolon thing because usually we forget that so you have to keep this thing in mind now how do we run this program so for that you'll go first of all we'll have to save it for that you can go to file and you can just click on save all and i've done <laughs> i repeat and i've done with the help of control and s you can do with that as well now we'll go to example tutorials the package right click on it and here is the option run as we'll click on run as this first java application that means this application and it will run this program so as it is visible java hello upgrade it is printed so what shall we'll do will be visible over here just make sure to save it by pressing control and s you can save it and by going over here clicking right and run as first java application we are running it as you can see two times it has printed hello upgrade so this is how you can do this in eclipse now let me ask you a quick question do you want to take your tech skills to the next level our masters in computer science program is perfect for anyone looking to advance their career in development in this program you will learn advanced java concepts data structures design and analysis of algorithms front end and back end development system design and much more you will gain the knowledge and skills needed to become a leader in your field don't miss out click the link in the description box to start your journey to mastering computer science today so this is how you download and install eclipse on your windows 10 computer with eclipse setup you're ready to start your java programming journey and build some amazing projects It's a powerful tool that will support you as you learn and grow your coding skills. In the coming tutorials, we'll be diving into various Java topics to help you build a solid foundation in programming. We'll be using Eclipse to write and run our Java programs. Stay tuned and get ready to take your Java skills to the next level.